Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so this photograph here was taken with the Nikon D750. Uh, it was, th the lens that I've used was the um, Tamron 7200 lens. And I was using a one light setup, um, just a light above the model. And that was it basically. Alright, so I'm going to retouch this image for you guys today this image was shot in jpeg actually yeah this was a jpeg image i did shoot in raw but i deleted the raw images <laughs> for some reason but it's always um good to edit in raw at all times all right so i'm gonna go right ahead and edit the photo all right the first thing i'm gonna do is to add my actions all right so i'm gonna go to load actions and then i'm gonna add the frequency well no i'm gonna go here actions and then i'm gonna add the fx ray retouch cc so i'm gonna load it all right so these are the actions that i'll be using for my frequency separation today all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is to crop the image think about right there should be good maybe a little bit more right here all right I'm gonna press enter on the keyboard and then what I'm gonna do now is to um, ensure that I'm editing in 16-bit uh, even though this is a raw no even though this is a JPEG I don't think this is 16-bit not sure but I'm just gonna edit in 16-bit because 16-bit gives you the full quality, the, all the information in your photo. Alright, so um, I'm going to start the frequency separation process. So I'm going to go with the 16-bit. Uh, the radius is at 14. I think 14 should be good, so I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to work on the low, the low uh, frequency layer. So I'm going to go over to my mixer brush, because the mixer brush is what I use to... Uh, make my edits well mixer brush is what I use to uh, blend the skin together all right so I'm gonna go to the mixer brush ensure that the mixer brush um, is at one percent for the wetness and everything else can remain the same you should also ensure that you clear brush um, before you start before you start to paint on the, um, the model skin all right so I'm gonna go right ahead and blend the skin. Alright. So I'm gonna get my brush a little bit bigger. I'm using the bracket on the keyboard. And I'm just going to uh, mix, you know. So when you're using the mixer brush, you have to ensure that when you're working in a dark area, you stay in that dark area when you're mixing. And when you're in the lighter area, you mix only the lighter area. You're not gonna go from um, um, the darker area to the lighter area. If you do that, you'll have problems. You will actually see the difference. All right. So you must also uh, be aware that when you're mixing, um, when you're mixing, it also flattens the image, and this is why you would do. Um, this is why you'd actually do dodge and burn to actually, you know, uh, create a, uh, a dimension in your image. So, so look at the before and after now. I'm going to hold down on alt on the keyboard and then press the indicator here. And that's the before and that's the after. So, yeah, so I'm just mixing different areas. When you mix, it, it's, I think it's a good idea to mix before you clean up the, um, the, the, the skin. For example, the pimples, they will get flat because you're flattening the image actually. So when the pimple on the skin is flat, it's easier for you to clean it. It's easier for you to remove them from the skin. 
so the first thing that you should do basically is to mix use the mixer brush on your uh, when you're retouching all right all right so what I'm gonna do now is to clean and get rid of the pimples from the skin I'm using the clone stamp tool that's s on your keyboard and then I'm gonna sample an area on the image and then I'm just gonna paint over it so you sample an area on the image and then you paint over it all right I'm going to speed up this portion of the video you guys should have an idea of how to clean the skin so I'm just gonna speed it up right now Alright, so I've cleaned up most of the face, so you can take a look at the before and after. Before, after. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little bit more right here. Um, right here. Right here. It's always good to zoom in on your image just to catch, you know, the little things that you won't see if it's zoomed out so all right oh the makeup was actually done by beauty pleasures i'm gonna add the link in the description for the makeup artist and also for the model all right all right so yeah that's that's it that's it before after before after i think i can work on the shoulder a little bit right here so I'm, all, I'm just using the clone stamp tool I'm just sampling an area and the paint over the image itself all right okay all right so what I'm gonna do now is to do what I'm gonna do is dodge and burn so I'm going to click on dodge and burn right here and then I'm going to go for the and then you can uh, press on O on your keyboard and it can give you the option for the burn and dodge tool but it's actually right here so you can just click and hold down uh, on the icon so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do burning first. So the burning is basically uh, working on the dark areas, the areas where uh, no light is actually at. All right, and this is gonna give the the face a shape. Uh, seeing that we have uh, flattened the face using the uh, using the mixer brush, so now we're gonna uh, give the face a dimension. So what I would suggest is that you put your opacity at uh, 50% and then um, press enter and then you're going to go over to your uh, dodge tool and then as a matter of fact I'm going to call this burn and then I'm going to create a new one that is dodge. So there's many different ways you can actually do dodge and burn, but I've, you know, this is an easier way. Well, not an easier way, but, you know, this is also an option. All right, so I'm going to work on the, the, the dark areas now, so I'm going to go to burn. It's already on burn, okay. And then I'm just going to paint right here. So look at the before, after. Before, after. I'm just going to do it right here as well. On the cheek. Uh, side of the forehead there I'm gonna do the arm well the shoulder 
right here as well. Mm. All right, that looks good so far. All right, so now I'm going to do the dodge. So I'm going to go and select the dodge. Still going to work on uh, a 35% layer. Or a 30% layer. No, 50. 50% layer. Good. All right. So I'm going to do the dodging now. Oh. I always click enter. All right. So I'm going to work right here so basically I'm, I'm just working with what the makeup artist actually did under the eyes you know that's always a light area the nose bridge is also a light area but I don't need to do much with the nose because it's already bright it's already highlighted so there's no reason for me to add anything else there right here good alright let's look at the before and after before after before after good all right so after doing that i'm just going to create a new uh, layer at the top and work on that layer so it's going to be Control alt shift e to create a new layer at the top and then i am going to well i'm going to press Control j to create another layer and i'm going to work on this layer um these areas i'm just going to clean them up right now uh, I'm going to use the pen tool to make a selection. And then I'm going to put the uh, selection is going to be at zero radius. And then I'm going to get my stamp, clone stamp, and it's going to clone out this area. Alright, it doesn't really look realistic, so I'm going to just take my time and go in so I'm not going to go too close now it looks a bit realistic good alright so there wasn't uh, much we had to do on this image um, the key thing is to ensure that you have a makeup artist a really good one uh, the model skin has to be clean if you want to do less work and basically a creative concept for your beauty session all right so that's it uh i'll be doing more videos um in the future for retouching and i hope that this video actually helps someone uh become a better retoucher and have a better idea of you know what to remove and what not to remove and you know all those good stuff if you have any questions you can always leave your questions in the uh, comment area and i will definitely respond Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, share, like, all the good stuff. <laughs> thanks for watching again, guys. Bye-bye.